What's up guys, welcome back. Today we're uh, fixing the SI right now because one of my spark plug O-rings gave out and uh, cylinder four here was like filled up with oil. I kind of got it out of there though, but the whole ignition coil was filled up too. This is uh, my first time getting the valve cover off of the JDM K24A. It definitely looks like it's been sitting in a junkyard for 15 years with the same oil in it. I'm gonna do an oil change too, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and replace that O-ring and I figured I might as well paint it too. So I'm gonna do a wrinkle red valve cover. So it's gonna look pretty sick. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and clean some other stuff up while I got the valve cover off. Uh, might figure out how to do something with these vacuum lines here and get rid of this, make that look a little better. But um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and uh, paint this valve cover. All right, guys, this is the paint I'm gonna be using. I had to order it on Amazon because for some reason I don't have it in parts stores, but we're gonna use VHT Wrinkle Plus. We're gonna do a wrinkle red, so it should be a nice effect. And then I also got a new uh, coil pack cover as well. So I've been hanging onto this for a while. This is a TSX coil pack cover, so uh, that's gonna look pretty nice with the wrinkle red. I won't have to worry about these, uh, these letters here or anything since I'm gonna be covering them. Um, I'm assuming this is the same thread, it should be, so. Uh, we're going to try that out with the wrinkle red and it should look absolutely fire with the uh, JDM Johnny breather filter on the side here too. So I'm just going to use some of this Dawn Power Wash with the scrub brush here and just try and get it as clean as I can. All right, we just got everything masked up. We're going to go ahead and put a base coat down on it. All right, guys, moment of truth. We're going to give this thing a cold start. It's been about two weeks, so uh, it's on E85. I don't expect it to start smoothly. There we go. I'm going to have to see what that check engine is. It might be a stored code from before, but it sounds like it's running mint. the car washed up um, I went ahead and did that uh, vacuum relocation I was talking about at the beginning of the video um, so I actually just capped off the nipple that was coming off of the throttle body there that is a j35 throttle body if you got a stock one it'll probably be in a different location but that is a uh, 5 16th plug right there I got that at AutoZone and I also got this bulk hose at AutoZone too so this is for the brake booster so I have it going down and it loops underneath the training mount right there, then goes straight up to the brake booster. Um, stock, you'll see there's a hose that comes here and it goes over, and then it goes into this weird nasty metal thing that I went ahead and deleted, so it looks a lot cleaner right now. I gotta make room for the sidewinder, so I figured I'd go ahead and get a head start. Um, either way, it definitely looks a lot cleaner um, without that big block there with the purge valve. I do just have the purge dumping to atmosphere. I am going to throw a filter on it back there at the firewall just so I don't smell it as much because I notice I do smell it in the cabin. Um, next thing on the list is probably just uh, getting rid of this nasty thing here and then um, re-looming all these wires here. Whether I get a uh, tuck kit to do that or I just do it myself, we'll see. Um, but shout out to Ian, he's one of my followers and um, he actually just did this stuff to his car. It looks super clean so um, he definitely gave me some pointers. This is a 3 8 inch hose. So that's the size that goes to the brake booster. Like I said, that nipple there is a 5 16th. Um, I do also, you do have to cut the check valve out of your stock hose. So back here in this area, you're gonna have to cut the check valve out of there for the brake booster. Um, so I went ahead and just shoved it into the new hose right here up front. So um, everything's all together now. Looks so much better with the red valve cover, especially without the purge valve there. So um, I'll flash it before and after for you guys real quick. 